I, Thomas M. Menino, to solemnly swear, to solemnly swear. It was November of 1993 when a Hyde Park native who rose to be a city councilor and then acting mayor was elected as the first Italian American mayor of the city of Boston. I just, uh, I love the city and I want the city to be the place that we all know it can be and uh, I'll work hard to make it that city. The mayor's promise to work hard for Boston has been more than fulfilled. He is a tireless individual that just never, never gives up. And he's an inspiration to all of us because he's proof positive that by working hard, you can achieve substantial results. Boston has really transformed itself and is continuing to transform itself. So many things have happened over this 20 year period of time. And I know Tom Menino as mayor has been part of them all. Boston's face has changed dramatically no matter where you travel in the city. Look at Lower Washington Street, the Greenway, Fenway, the Back Bay, and in Alston. And the growth continues all across the city. But many will agree some of the most dramatic changes are visible in the Seaport Innovation District. Well, the vision for Boston in 1993 did not include the Seaport District. The mayor was always supportive. Um, and, uh, and to his credit, he could believe that this type of change was going to take place. He felt he could make it, help make it take place. I think he, he spent a lot of time listening and he didn't get hung up on the downtown or the neighborhoods. He was able to blend the two. For example, he'll get a lot of credit, rightfully so, for the innovation district, the waterfront, but in his proudest moment, he might say Ferdinand's and Dudley's station was his crowning achievement because that thing took forever and a day to get off the ground and now it's it's a reality. When I start to see cranes then I become encouraged that dollars and private dollars and public dollars are being spent in order to beautify Roxbury which is bringing it back to its former luster and I think the mayor has to be credited as number one public servant of making that happen. Other neighborhoods have also been revitalized in a variety of ways, from the development of Boston Medical Center to the main streets of East Boston's Maverick Square in Roslindale Village, and to a former landfill, which is now a park in West Roxbury, the mayor's mark is there. And Mayor Menino managed the city through both upbeat and tough fiscal times. Mayor Menino deserves a huge amount of credit for maintaining the city in often choppy waters, in keeping a firm hand on the tiller of, of state and keeping the fiscal uh, situation in line for the city. I think he always ma managed to make a case that supporting business in Boston was not just about supporting the 1%, was not just about supporting tech innovators, it was about creating a rising tide that hopefully will lift everyone. And I, I think that's just tremendously healthy and he's left the city in a much stronger place than he found it. I want to be judged as your mayor by what happens now in the Boston public schools. Early on in his tenure, Mayor Menino asked to be graded for his work to improve Boston schools. It was very risky to even take that position, as you probably can imagine. Um, a lot has happened. Reforming schools, transforming schools, improving schools takes an awful long time. Uh, you do need stability at the top, but you also need to uh, create a culture within the organization that says we're not going to let any kids fail. And that's not easy work, it takes a while. And to the mayor's credit, he's stayed the course. New neighborhood schools have been built, test scores are up, and dropout rates are down. What I think the mayor has done is put an incredibly sound foundation into place. He put things into place such as early education, kindergarten for all five-year-olds, pilot schools, increased arts and sports engagement. He's put those in place and established a foundation for the future that I think is incredibly strong, totally different than it was when he came into uh, the role 20 years ago. For him, it's all about the kids. The mayor also showed concern for what those kids were doing when they were out of school, through his summer jobs program and at Camp Harborview. The youngsters are the ones that didn't have a vote. They didn't have a voice. And uh, the mayor, in my experience, has always been interested in the ones that didn't have a voice. And so, helping the kids was a natural for him. Most of all, Mayor Menino has never forgotten his neighborhood roots. No, I was born in Hype Park, I'm a stay in Hype Park, I'm a dying in Hype Park. That's where I, that's where I live, I love it.
He's the people's mayor. Recent polls show he enjoys a remarkable 83% approval rating. People love him. We love him. He's he's just a real person. He's just like one of us. Oh, I think he's awesome. He's, uh, quite frankly, irreplaceable. I love the guy. He's like a son to me. He's only 70. I'm 88. Whether hosting his annual Hyde Park block party or attending thousands of neighborhood events, Mayor Menino embraced Boston's growing and changing population. Tom Menino did not lead from the fifth floor in City Hall. Tom Menino led in each and every one of these neighborhoods. He had a presence. We are a city that welcomes all nationalities and the mayor is the strongest advocate and the strongest voice in saying that diversity is the strength of our city. He was there to celebrate the city's high points and to support Bostonians in their lowest moments. During the tragic Boston Marathon period, there were so many special, heroic moments by so many people. I always will remember him choosing to stand and deliver his speech, and he delivered such an amazingly heartwarming speech. But it was the act of him standing, of showing he wasn't going to let anything or anyone keep him down. That act gave us all courage. We are one Boston. No adversity, no challenge, nothing can tear down the resilience in the heart of the city and its people. And if you had one word to describe Mayor Thomas Menino. Thoughtfulness. Honest. Committed. Authentic. Urban. Beloved. Really human. Game changer. Tireless worker. Relentless. Ubiquitous. <laughs> I think he's a great collaborator, but he's collaborated with all of us. And as a result, we have good news about the city of Boston.